Hello guys, welcome back. Here t um, I'm gonna be talking about uh, TC2 game settings. I think a lot of you guys ask me, Hey, what's your um, crosshair ID? Uh, what what do you use for your kiss, kill sound, hit sound? So, you know, I'll explain why I chose these and um, yeah, just explain my thought process of choosing uh, my crosshair and everything. First of all, let's talk about crosshair. My crosshair number is... Uh, here we go. This. I'll put this number in the description below. Make sure to check it out. And I put the multiplier at 1.8. So maybe... Okay, so 1.8 is really good multiplier. It's not too big. It's not too small. I adjusted this for like a long time. Obviously, you know, preferences differ per person. So I'll, I, I put it at 1.8. You can choose it to like 2. You can change it to 1. It's your choice. But 1.8 is the preferable setting for me. And also, uh, this is something I think I should say. Turn off crosshair uh, scaling. If you don't, you know what? I'll show you what happens if you don't turn off crosshair scaling. Let's go. Let's go arsonist. And then, okay, it's the same, you know, same size as the dot. Let's let's turn that off real quick. Look at this. What the fuck? This is so ugly. This is literally unplayable. Look at this big ass dot. So make sure to turn that off, uh, because I mean, if you want to like see a big ass like cross uh, crosshair on your screen, that's your choice. So I, I wouldn't mind, but I, I don't like it. It's it's like in the way, and I chose green. Um, so green is a really uh, visible color, like in any uh in any place, any situation. But then there are places when you are in like near uh near green team's territory. And it might be difficult to see, but I didn't like using it for a while. I haven't gone uh, come across that problem yet. So I mean, you could change it to purple. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I have it to green because I like green. It's easy to see. And yeah, and look at uh, let's uh, talk about FOV. So I have my FOV set at ninety. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to see if I have like smaller view on it. So let's do this. Here we go. Ninety. I mean, you can. S you can see a lot of a weapon, and I like detail, so, you know, maybe it's better. I think default is, like, 70. Let's see, like, what 70 is. There you go. This is, like, you see, like, so little of the map, and I don't like it. So I have it on 90, the maximum you can get. And let's look at the difference again. Look, you can see way more of map and your surrounding which is like really important when you're playing you know classes like trooper you don't want to have like limited vision so you know make sure to turn it to 90 because it's really important also talking about fov make sure to have a uh, smaller fov i don't know it's in japanese so i'm not really sure what it is in english right now but make sure to have that on because you can you can still see your weapon but then you have like it's, uh, it covers less of the screen. It, like, you know, when you don't have, like, smaller view models, like, the weapon covers, like, f I don't know, 30% of your screen, and I don't like that. I'll, I want to see everything. But then, you know, then you might add, you might say, like, hey, you know you can turn off view models, right? Yeah, that's cool and all, but I want to see my weapon reloading, and, you know, there's sound cues to know whether you're reloading, but I'd rather see the weapon, because I, you know, mid- Mid fight, I might be like, you know, using my melee, and then I'm like, oh wait, it's, it's not my rocket launcher. You know, I'm I'm dumb, so you know, it's better for me to have a visual cue of you know whether my we what weapon I'm holding, what you know, uh, whether my weapon is reloading or not. So I like to see my view model, view model, so I have them turned on. Also, ragdolls, um, they are good. They are useful. And you might be wondering, oh, it's just going to drop frame rates. That is true. That is so true. I can't hit uh, over 100 frames anymore because of uh, I turned on ragdolls. But um, you should. Especially when there's a good agent around. It's so useful. Or marksman, as a matter of fact. Because you can see the bodies like flump, like just pop out of nowhere. I mean, I'm not, not nowhere, but you see like dead bodies. And then you, you know, like, oh, there's a... Um, Asian or there is marksman around the corner so I should be careful so that's why I have it on but then to be honest it's personal preference you can turn it off I suggest turning it off for most people because you know like myself my computer isn't that good so I would say turn it off if you want to 
let's talk about hit sounds. I chose this hit sound. Okay, there's many reasons for this because mainly is because I play Osu, it's a ribbon game, and I like the sound of like the hit markers in Osu, so that's why I have it. Uh, uh, I use this sound, and also it's like so satisfying. Like, click is really satisfying here, so that's why I have it on. And the kill is the frying pan from TF2, obviously. It's kind of loud, but I, I like it. And you know, when watching it's like uh, our TC2 uh, videos, I, I feel like I, it doesn't sound as satisfying if you don't have the kill sound on and like you can hear it. So that's why I have it really like loud, like 13. That's why, um, yeah. Um, that's why I like, you know, have it really loud, obnoxious noise. It's not too obnoxious, but it's like to the point, oh, that's kind of funny. So yeah. Uh, music, you can turn that to zero, to be honest. I have it at one, I'm too lazy to change it. Ups, um, yeah, that's kind of it, to be honest. Yeah, uh, that's my settings for TC2. Uh, if, if you have any questions, you know, just ask me. I'll make sure to put the hit sound, kill sound, and the crosshair ID in the description below. Thanks for listening. Peace. Maybe I'm a bit dumb. Got a lot of questions that I don't know the answers to.